Yep. All right, John, uh, tell us a little bit about your journey and what led you to EHP. It probably started for me about 20 years before when I decided I wasn't going to do anything for 20 years. <laughs> and so um, how I found EHP was I realized I needed to do something and I drove by EHP every day on my way to the burrito store and I saw people working out and sweating and that looked hard um, but eventually I thought if I am going to go somewhere I need to go somewhere convenient for me where there's going to be a team and so that is when I joined EHP. 20 years in the making. 20 years of nothing and that will catch up to you. <laughs> so it's never too late to start. It is absolutely not too late. <laughs> Um, how would you say EHP has impacted your life? I think it's been very impactful. I think uh, I work with um, retirees and people who have saved their whole life and they have all the money they need to live out what we would call the American dream here. and but they might not have their physical health. And so it does not matter how much money you have, if you don't have health, and if you can't move, um, then that's a really critical piece. I grew up uh, in Alaska on an ocean, and you don't wanna find out that you are sinking when you're at the bottom of the ocean. And a lot of my clients find themselves there. And so for me, EHP is, is the bridge for that health piece that's going to put me into uh, uh, hopefully a healthy and successful retirement where I can be with my family. So it's, it's a big deal. Yeah, so you kind of alluded to like, there's many aspects of health, right? Like you have financial health, physical health, yeah. emotional, mental, psychological, there's all different types right. of health to kind of make sure you work yes. on. Uh, are there any specific hurdles that you've kind of been able to overcome or things that you've done that you never thought you'd be doing? Well, for sure. In the gym, there are things that I never thought that I would do, you know, bar muscle ups and, you know, handstand push ups and, and things that just were not even in the realm of possibility when I started. But maybe more importantly, when I started thinking about getting healthier, I decided I would just be a runner. And uh, so I followed a plan and that was before EHP. And I was successful and I got my distance, but I was tired, I was hurting, I was probably overtrained. I didn't have any oversight in my plan. I just kind of went for it. And, um, you know, since joining CrossFit, I've now run the same distance two additional times with almost 50% of the effort. I've run faster times, I've run healthier times, I've had you know no body breakdowns. So so it affects just the daily things as well. Yeah. You've once had a conversation with me that said coaches move the needle. Mm -hmm. What did what does that mean for you? Well, I think that we have so many decisions to make in life that it is a good place to go and just take a step back and let the coaches who think about this and do this for a living give us the input and for us just to follow it um, because we know that it's something that they're trained in, they care about. I remember uh, the first CrossFit coach that I ever interacted with said, you are not going to be um, happy with your results unless you come here four days a week. So I just decided I'm going to do what the coach says. And that brought me from 20 years of nothing to doing much better. Since then, it's been more refined and more focused pieces of, of, of guidance and coaching, but again, keeping me from hurting myself, keeping me from uh, getting lazy, and keeping me you know, working for the, the proper stimulus. Um, I wouldn't have found that without coaching. Awesome. Leads me to one more question. Uh, you have a teenage daughter come here mm -hmm. and has been in our teens class. What impact has it made for her life? To be honest, I think that um, when people thought of exercise and working out and fitness for many years, and when I grew up, I just thought about um, male, a male-dominated industry, mm -hmm. and and that has changed. Um, and I think it it was needed, 
but I think it's important, especially for our young women, to be around other strong women, um, leaders, uh, people who are pushing the boundaries of what they were allowed to do, uh, allowed to do, or what they thought they were capable of. So I don't know that my daughter will be um, the best CrossFitter or the most um, successful in this, but she is around strong women, strong leaders, and those things apply through so much more than just her being at the gym. She and I get to come here and work out three days a week uh, is when she comes and she loves the gym, but she also loves the morning light to take selfies on the drive home. <laughs> so I'm not sure which of those two really is the driver, but either way, she's here, she's with me, and the light is good, <laughs> which apparently is important. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> um, is there anything else you'd like to add? I think it's never too late to start. Whether you're 25, 35, 65, um, you can have fun. You're going to have um, you're going to have some confidence that you didn't have before, and I think you're going to be proud of yourself. Your family's going to be proud of you, and um, we're not uh, ever too old to stop learning. Thank you.